We're in a very red part of a red state. When I lived in Owen County back in the 90s, it was all boarded up. There was no gay community that I was aware of. We're working with the realities of the world. When I was growing up, Spencer was very backward thinking. I wanted to go elsewhere. There wasn't anything here for the LGBTQ community specifically. Um, and we wanted there to be something. I don't think I would have gone back to that rural community had Spencer Pride not been there. Jonathan and Jacob have done an amazing job. Their demeanor in the community, like they're such leaders, they play well with everyone, you know what I mean? It's not like they're elitist and they're not trying to cram any agenda down your throat. They're just like, hey, we're just like you. You can't revitalize it to what it was. You have to revitalize it in a new light. Spencer, Indiana is the smallest town in the United States with a dedicated LGBTQ center. I don't care if you're gay, straight, purple, black, I don't care. This is not a typical small rural Indiana town. There's a lot of intelligent people that maybe don't have the degree, maybe didn't go to school. A lot of people call us river rats. Hillbillies. There's an old country bumpkin lives out in the woods. It's <laughs> uneducated. You can be a belief system and totally be fine and coexist peacefully and even supportively with someone who's got a very different perspective. And we have learned also that our perceptions can, are, needed to be fixed as well. So we were doing a garage sale. They came up and they were gruff and they were like, so what kind of sale is this, a benefit sale? And it's for Spencer Pride and, and uh, what's that? And so we told them and we we're like, you know, if you're gonna go. And they go, oh, what a great organization. Can we give you a donation? And I thought, serves me right. Being affirming for the LGBTQ community is not a political affiliation. I feel like it has progressed and there was definitely, you know, forward movement and I believe it was actually after the first Pride Festival that I moved back. People from outside of town, they don't expect to see a rainbow flag on the courthouse square. Why did we start it here? Because this was home. Everything has a chance to survive if you just think it does. My late wife and I were examples you can grow old in this community and be gay. We're all neighbors here. It's not like you can really be a total jerk to somebody that you see every day. If it needs to be there and it doesn't exist, then you build it. Yeah. You don't wait for somebody no. else. Change doesn't happen to you. It happens because of you. And you shine a light on these things. I think it's going to give people a lot of pride around here. And I want to be a part of bringing that up. Say, hey, if Little Town Spencer can do it, so can you.